I'm Danielle from Danielle's Book Buzz and I'm an independent consultant with Osborne Books and More. Today I am so excited to show you this new book, Tales of Brave and Brilliant Girls from Around the World. So I absolutely love this book. Um, this is the second one in the series. The first one was Forgotten Fairy Tales of Brave and Brilliant Girls. And when the first one came out, I was so excited. Um, and I absolutely love this book. So then when I heard that the second one was coming out, I was thrilled. So these are both really great girl power books. So all of the stories in the book are um, fairy tales and stories from a long time ago, some that you know, some that you may not know, and they all feature the girl as the hero, which is really great. So these books are great for boys and girls alike to see these stories where the girl saves others herself and that... Um, she doesn't need someone to come and save her, which is really awesome. So these are great for ages seven and up. There is a decent amount of text, but there are uh, pictures throughout. And they both have um, an introduction and then the content showing you what stories are in here. So this one is the tale of Bra Tales of Brave and Brilliant Girls from Around the World. And I apologize if I can pronounce any of these names incorrectly. But um, there's Mulan, there's Nana Bolele, there's Vasilisa and Prince Vladimir, there's Moremi and the Ajanjans, the Tale of Tokyo, the Dragon Slayer, the Sleep Watchers, and the Warrior Queen. So they have an introduction here. And then there's a little synopsis about each one of the stories, and it tells you where it came from, what time period. And then as you get into each story, they start out with an illustration and a little um, blurb about where it came from. So this is Mulan. This is a traditional Chinese story based on real events that happened over 1,500 years ago. So nice size text. Um, there are pictures throughout, but there's a lot of text on each page. Um, these are great. It says seven and up, but I would say um, if you're going to read it to someone that's younger, then that's totally fine. So these are great bedtime story, read aloud type um, book. So really great. There's a about 190, 200 pages in each book. And they have the beautiful illustrations and really, really great girl power stories. Um, and so like the Mulan one is, um, it's similar to the Disney movie, the original, the animated one. Um, but I feel the time period is longer than I think the Mulan movie went. It might be similar to the newer one that just came out, but I did not see that yet, so I can't tell you for sure. But really great stories from all around the world, okay? And the original had awesome fairy tales of brave and brilliant girls. So similar idea. It has a really great introduction, um, talking about the importance of having these stories out there about um, girls being the heroes. Um, and then this one has The Daring Princess, The Sleeping Prince, Snow White and Rose Red, Clever Molly, Kate Cracker Nuts, The Nettle Princess, The Wise Princess, and Fearless Fiona, and The Spellbound Knight. So similar format. Um, and each story, again, has the illustration and where it's from. So The Daring Princess is a, a fairy tale based on a story called The Iron Stove, which was retold by the Brothers Grimm. So, and same idea in there as far as format goes. So these are both Usborne books. They are $19.99. You can find them on my website, which is daniellebookbuzz.com. I highly, highly recommend them. They're great stories. They're on uh, nice, decent length, um, not too long for a bedtime story, but a great way to introduce your kids to these great stories of brave and brilliant girls. So you can find them again on my website, which is daniellebookbuzz.com. And thanks for watching. Bye.